see you at six, Wiley, thanks. Well, now to an exclusive. Border Patrol agents have been overwhelmed the last few months, apprehending hundreds of undocumented immigrants daily. Meanwhile, a band of nonprofits have taken the initiative to help asylum seekers who are released into the U.S. Many of them claiming to be running away from violence are excited at the very thought of being able to live a free life in the United States. News 11's Crystal Jimenez joins us with a hope for asylum a special report you'll only see on News 11. For some, this is just a dirt road like any other. But for thousands of undocumented immigrants flooding the U.S.-Mexico border, it's the very ground that offers hope and a chance for permanent freedom. And you guys want to the grid for where this group's currently at now? A never-ending battle for Border Patrol. UMNL Central Sector's resources strained by the continuous flow of undocumented immigrants surrendering themselves at the border, hoping for asylum in the United States. ¿De dónde vienen? Brasil. Oh, Brasil. Ustedes son casados y su hijo. These large group of undocumented immigrants have become a daily routine for Border Patrol. This group right behind me, 58 people, all coming from different countries. BP agents say large groups like these have appeared at the border like clockwork the last two months. Groups of buses or bands, uh, Pretty much any type of mass uh, transportation uh, being driven down the, the Mexican highway and, and then dropping off the individuals at a certain staging spot. And then at that spot, uh, then they're crossing over uh, into our river corridor where the vehicle barriers are. 8% of asylum seekers have been released in the Yuma sector. Over 2,000 of them children who were sent all alone, some with only a backpack and phone numbers taped to their body. It's the sad reality of what's happening at our border. One asylum seeker told us she crossed with her family from Mexicali after spending the last five years trying to find a community that accepts her religious roots of Sikhism. This is the only country like we are the respect of human life and right to equality and everything like we have our own right when we get everything like all, uh, like all right. Another family from India took to the Mexicali border as well, desperate to give their two daughters a future in the U.S. I want to stay my life in U.S.A. for life, for give the future of not for future of me, future for my daughters. Making every sacrifice. Once in CBP custody, he was separated from his family. My wife and my child other side. I see my wife this morning after eight days. Almost 90 miles from the Mexicali border lies Mecca, California, where a nonprofit answered a call for help from Board Patrol and Regional Center for Border Health. The Galilee Center helps house some of these asylum seekers released from Yuma and El Central Border Patrol custody, but not until they're tested for COVID. The minute they walk into our into our doors, into our shelter, it's kind of a sign of relief. Um, and the, the two immediate needs that they have is uh, for a meal and then immediately after for a shower. Um, and it's amazing what a difference a shower can, can make. That's when the, uh, the process, a speedy process of uh, making arrangements for the traveling begins. The Galilee Center helps these asylum seekers make it to their next destination, where they have to check in with an immigration officer. At this point, Border Patrol agents say there's no end in sight, but regardless, they're going to keep doing their job. Our job here is border enforcement. You know, anything that comes to the border, um, we are going to apprehend it. We're going to make sure it's documented. Uh, we're going to make sure that uh, we can pick out the individuals who are dangerous and, and, and send them back or prosecute. Um, so that's going to be our job in, in the whole, you know, scenario. Agents holding on to hope this will all, at some point, come to an end, while these undocumented immigrants hold on to their hope for asylum. Reporting in Yuma, Crystal Jimenez, News 11.